Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video I will show you a game between Max Yue and Mikal Tal. This was not an official tournament game, but a friendly one played for the sake of entertaining the chess world. Max Yue had white pieces and he started with e4. Mikal Tal played c5, the Sicilian defense. Knight to f3, d6, d4, c takes on d4, knight takes on d4, knight to f6, knight to c3, a6, the neither of variation of the Sicilian defense. Bishop to g5, e6, f4, bishop to e7, queen to f3, queen to c7, and max Uwe castle at queenside, knight from b to d7. Bishop to e2, h6, attacking the bishop, bishop to h4, b5, the pawn storm on the queen side. e5, opening the center. Bishop to b7, attacking the queen. What is the best square for the queen? What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Max Ewer played an amazing move. Pawn! takes knight on f6. At first, it looks like a beginner's mistake. Bishop takes queen. Bishop takes on f3, attacking the rook. Bishop takes on f6. If rook to c8, f takes on e7. Bishop takes on f6, attacking the bishop. Bishop takes on f6, rook to c8. If g takes on f6, bishop takes rook. So we have rook to c8, bishop takes on g7, but now rook to h7, and the bishop is trapped. Where is the bishop going? What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Max, you were played bishop to h5, black to move, and Tal didn't capture the bishop. He played queen to c5. If rook takes on g7, knight takes on e6, forking the queen and the rook. Queen to c4, knight takes on g7 check is possible. But this is also a very interesting idea. Rook from h to e1, lining the rook with black king. After rook takes on g2, saving the rook. Then rook to d4, attacking the queen. And where is the queen going? Queen has one good spot, and that is queen to c6. But then, bishop to f3, forking the queen and the rook. And now if queen takes bishop, then knight to g5, discovered check. Winning black queen and winning the game. And let's go back to our game. So we have queen to c5 f5, very cool move. Rook takes bishop, knight takes on e6, forking the queen and the rook, queen to e3, check, king to b1, black to move, knight to e5 was played. If rook to g8, saving the rook, then rook from h to e1. This is very uncomfortable. Back to our game. Knight to e5, blocking the e-file. Knight takes rook on g7 check. King to f8. f6. b4. Attacking the knight. Why to move? Knight to a4 was played. Perhaps knight to e2 would be a better move. Knight to a4. Knight to c4. Knight to f5. Queen to e5, attacking the knight on f5. Bishop to g4. Black to move. Tal played the best move in this position. What is the best move for black? Please pause and find the best move for black in this position. What did you find? Tal played. Queen takes on b2 check. Let's play something else. If h5, rook from h to e1. And white is standing better. White has three pieces and a pawn for the queen. And good activity of the pieces. 
back to our game. So, Tal played Queen takes on B2 check. Knight takes Queen. Knight to A3 check. King to A1. King to C1 has a tiny, tiny downside. Can you see it? This is the downside. So we have a King to A1. Knight takes on C2 check. King to B1. Knight to A3 check. And draw was agreed in this position. And let's go back to this critical moment of the game. This is the position. When Tal played, Queen takes pawn on b2. It's not that Tal likes to draw, but other moves would make his position even worse, and he would perhaps lose. Believe it or not. If you don't believe it, ask me if it's true. Although the game ended in a draw, it is still a very beautiful game. Do you agree? What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.